hello everyone and welcome in today's video uh, i am going to discuss about how spark code can be optimized so what are the practical practical things which a developer does for optimizing spark code so let's begin so in a daily life of a developer spark developer what happens in his day either he is looking airflow logs which are failed and debugging why why they have failed or seeing the yarn logs why they have failed something like this and the developer is in question like why these have failed and analyzing all the logs and finding out the reason in return angry customer with uh, no data in the environment in production or maybe in uat so how we can overcome this issue like uh, some optimization techniques like in the code base or in the cluster so there are different ways that uh, spark job can be optimized like there are some cluster issues we can handle the cluster or there are some code related issues so let us discuss those what are those and how can we overcome this situation and at the end uh, unhappy you know developer in reviewing all these logs so let us see how we can overcome this situation of a developer so spark code optimization what all a developer can do for uh, in order to not face such kind of situation so first of all like he can use a broadcast joint where uh, like when uh, in case where a small table uh, we are joining with a huge table so small table can be broadcasted so this can be done like in the similar manner as shown here like we can broadcast the small table so this kind of optimization at the code level should be done by the developer standpoint next thing is predicate push down like uh, we, developer can uh, do a filter operation like where the two joints are performed so whatever filtering needs to be done that uh, prior to join operation or any transformation he can do this format so format also plays a very important role in doing this so have we have seen that uh, parquet file format or avro or orc are better than the json or csv but sometimes there are situation like a client cannot provide a uh, format in such in other manner but uh, consider a situation where a huge table is there having 65 million thousand rows so that is a huge table right so such huge number of rows uh, should not be stored in a csv or excel file or json file format so such should be stored in a parquet file format or uh, some operation in such manner should be done by a developer standpoint that also improves the performance avoiding group by so in practical scenario in in a running project i have uh, seen that group by instead of group by we can use reduce by also a windows function which uh, in upcoming videos i will uh, mention how how this can be avoided uh, how a group by function can be converted into windows function using partition by operation avoiding shuffle in data and less code so a code operation can be done in three lines of code or a two lines of code as well so where there are multiple lines of code which operation can be performed in two lines of code for example consider that uh, you are uh, making a column out of it using with column and the with and using with column you have uh, you are running 
when condition on on it and again renaming that column so this three operation we are doing for a single uh, operation like we are checking we are doing this for checking nulls okay so in this situation if we use a colis function instead of all the three function so the code can be more optimized so such ways where the code can be optimized by a developer can avoid such situations cache or persist so using cache or persist also uh, performs a uh, boost in the spark job operations serialization so serialization using cryo serialization instead of java gives a boost in the uh, operation spark uh, in the spark job more scenarios like these are at a cluster level like dynamic allocation should be enabled so i will mention all these property in the description box you can check over there also write configuration so like using queues driver memory executor memory so for a particular spark job these all uh, should be also configured in a proper manner like using queues this uh, using queues and uh, for that particular queue driver and executor memory which can boost the performance i hope you learn something from today's video and uh, it was helpful and knowledgeable i will surely create more such kind of videos do comment in the comment box below for uh, so that i can check and uh, make videos on that as well thank you